So this is the information for laparoscopic gastric sleeve surgery. Laparoscopic gastric sleeve surgery is performed in a minimally invasive manner. We use small incisions in order to perform the surgery. The two biggest incisions, they're relatively small. It's about as long as my pinky tip, about 1.5 centimeters in length. The two biggest incisions are on either side of the belly button. And the remaining three incisions, they're a lot smaller. It's roughly the width of the end of this pen. In performing gastric sleeve surgery, what primarily occurs is that we turn the stomach into a tube of sorts. Roughly 80% of the stomach is removed from the body. Uh, we use a sizing tube in order to gauge the amount of tissue to remove. And the outer portion of the stomach on the right of the screen, that's actually removed from the body. This part of the anatomy contains chemicals in it that stimulate the appetite. The chemical is called ghrelin. So with less ghrelin floating around in the blood, people are not as hungry as often. Secondly, of course, since the stomach is a lot smaller than before, that means less food would be needed to satisfy a person when there's a gastric sleeve in place. And third, and I think most exciting, is that the sleeve alters biochemical signaling which in effect changes the energy metabolism. So everything that you've done in the past comes full circle with respect to exercise and dieting. It takes really hard work in order to maintain the results. And even though the gastric sleeve does address the weight, I think far more important than the number on the scale is a person's state of health, uh, their energy levels, their quality of life the ability to spend more time with their family and friends in a more engaged manner. To me, that's more important than the number on the scale. The average length of duration for gastric sleeve surgery is roughly 40 minutes. Uh, the surgery does involve an overnight stay at the hospital, with most people leaving the following day around midday or early afternoon. With respect to time off from work, I think it's a good idea to take off a week, maybe two weeks, if you're primarily working behind a desk. But for more physically demanding occupations, I would say it's worthwhile to take off about a month or so. Uh, so this information, again, is available on our website. If you have any questions after doing more research or talking with your family and friends, please feel free to reach out to us. We're always here for our patients. We want to make sure that you have a good experience and that you're ultimately very comfortable with this pretty big decision.